Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 35 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Let's start by seeing what Deed has to say. So, I've already took some time and invited Deed out for some drinking. Deed's a bit surprised because Avaro can't handle his drink. Avaro says he's pretty much normal. It's Deed who's unusual. So. Shall we do cheers? Buzino Saikaini Kuite Namaiki da Tagaki no Sejoni. Well, to a safe reunion and to a little kid who grew up. To, all right, cheers. So, I've always suggested it and now he regrets it. That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> so we get to talk a bit about the past. And the present. Deed Helm's surprised that a brat like Avaro managed to get a workshop of his own. Avaro asks him to stop talking like an old man. Hey, he's enjoying the growth of a kid. Don't take away an old man's joy here. Huh, whatever then. Yeah, Dita is kind of getting old. If you look close, his wrinkles are getting more prolific. So... How is the Aquatic Beast's vanguard after Avara left? He just says nothing in particular changed. Avara was a bit worried about that because he left all of a sudden like he did. <laughs> no, nah, Deed didn't mind. Losing just one person from the vanguard didn't hurt them that much. Well, that was one reason Avaro wanted to go out drinking. Avaro nya, jibun no kobo o motsu mokuteki ga atta no ha hajime kara shitteru. Shindan no shigoto dake jia mono tarinen da na ってこ to mo na. The detail understood that Avaro wanted his own workshop from the beginning and being in the vanguard would eventually limit him. Navarro apparently has always been a bit standoffish and didn't let people get close to him. It's not that he didn't like them, it's just that take his eyes off of him and he'll be by himself for us all of a sudden. Navarro kind of blames that on his lineage. His, uh, his isolation from other people is a kind of form of self-defense to a uh, half-blood who might be attacked. Yeah. Well, don't talk that way about the Aquatic Beast Vanguard. He doesn't employ people like that. Which is true. 
In fact, he rather liked it there, and he had a hard time leaving. To think that even a Avar, who was like that before, has managed to make himself a little family here. He's grown up. I'm telling you to stop with that. Avaro didn't call him out here for a conversation like that. Okay, next topic is Fia. He's heard about her being a goddess without any memories. So, do we have a plan for getting her memories back? And we really don't know. We're hoping to find some kind of clue that'll help us jumpstart, but we're getting nowhere. Hey, as time passes, you tend to forget things. That's how memories are. Uh, it's a little different there. Okay, what's Deet think? Does he believe he is ex goddess? Actually a goddess? Well, he's definitely thinking that she is a very high level class of spirit. But whether she's a god or not, he can't say for certain. Come to think of it, what differentiates a god from a spirit? But considering the circumstances, she's got a lot of evidence building up on her side. We can't deny the possibility. Yeah, not only is there the connection with the castle, well, even that alone would be pretty impressive. Well, hey, if she says she's a goddess, let's just let her have it. So, Fia seems happy enough as it is now, so we don't need to worry about it. And, in fact, worrying about it too much would bother her. So, let's just drop it for the moment. Huh. Yeah, some of us want to know, even if Alvaro is fine with not knowing. Or you. Or fucking everybody except the player. Next topic are the rumors floating about Infru's kingdom regarding the castle. Navarro thinks that it's rumors about the mobile workshop. Anything else? So, there are others, like the one that the kingdom soldiers tried to steal it, and the one where the castle retaliated and destroyed a city. That's a nice rumor. Yeah, well, that's kind of... it's not entirely true, but it's... you know, rumors get exaggerated. Guarakuna Castle is dangerous. Anybody can tell just by looking at it. 
But at root, it is just a tool. A tool is all in how you use it. If you take a kitchen knife and you wave it around, that's dangerous. But it's not the kitchen knife that's dangerous. It's the person who's misusing it. Yeah, I get it. If you so, even if you have this great power, it's not dangerous if you don't misuse it. So, so, although they have this fearsome power, the fact that they're putting it to good use means that the good rumors are gaining strength over the less good rumors. So that's a reputation the Avaro and the rest of them are building up. But you have to worry about you have to not lose sight of your base personality as you're looking forward towards your goal. Our base, huh? So if we keep demanding that we restore Fia's memories and we do something too dangerous, in one step we can undo a whole lot of the work we've put in. The flow of this conversation kind of lost me because now he's talking about or offering advice from a married man. That would be him. So, women are the type to search out things and if they find something they don't like, you will be hated, so don't hide anything from them. <laughs> yeah, if they found out it's scary. Yeah, apparently. Deet's trying to get to Avaro, get across to Avaro that he shouldn't be cheating on Fia. And Avaro gets to tell him that she is not only not worried about that, she actually wants him to go out and do it. <laughs> well, we get along, don't we? Uh, yeah. Omaikaranorokinga <laughs> So, Didum says it's pretty impressive that Avaro's gotten himself surrounded by girls here. He definitely wasn't the type before. Hey, shut it. And anyway... If he is the first person he's gotten into a serious relationship anyway. Yeah, that means he played around a bit before me, Fia. Well, men do that. So, Deet apparently is married, and he is truly faithful to his wife. Wonder why we never see her. Oh, I know. Because if we see a female, that means we're going to have sex with her later in the game. 
Okay, so what we're getting across is that No, no What I've always thinking is that he's never seen Detail actually go after another woman Alright, next subject. Let's hear about what Avaro did after leaving the Vanguard. What Kuni what countries he went to, what kind of people he met. Alright, fine. He's not guaranteeing it'll be interesting though. But So, they spent a night drinking like that. Okay, this is apparently after that, and Avaro's head hurts. What's wrong? Is he, have you got a head disease? Don't make it sound like there's something wrong with my head. So, Avaro drank too much and now he's feeling it. That damn deed. He's too good with... Uh, he holds his alcohol too well. Avaro doesn't like to get drunk fast. He prefers to have a steady pace and just kind of mellow out. But indeed kind of pushed this, pushed all the beer down his throat and stuff and now he's like this. Ah, so this is what a hangover is. Are you telling me you've never had a hangover? Nope. She's good. Avaro's jealous. So, what were the two of them talking about? Do we really have to have a conversation about what we just had a conversation about? Okay, let's pass on the explanations. It's just... Normal conversation stuff. Oh, is that so? The teacher and his student had a drink together for the first time in a long time. Uh, great. Alright, you can have sex with him, but don't go too far that way, okay? Since you can't have kids, it's kind of unproductive. And here I thought I would have to make a gay joke. Fia does it for me. The hell? Avaro does not like that. So, in later days, there was a little bit of a rumor going around the castle. Yeah. Of all vows never to go out drinking with him again. Alright. Now we've got a difficult battle in front of us. I was not looking forward to this one. Okay, lots of monsters. So, they're big, and they're pretty worked up. Let's ask Gyo if this is the place. So, yes. Certainly, just beyond here is the one that is controlling all the others. And if we beat it, the... the power of... the numbers of the monsters will decrease. Alright then. So this is where Eel's parents went. Alright, everybody. Let's do this with spirit. 
Ah, oh, you're so cute. Mm. So let's introduce you to our first giants. They're big, yes. And impressively powerful. But what I hate about these guys the most is the determination skill they have. This is such a pain when they get low on life because it adds 50% to both their attack and defense. Well, it adds 20% once they're at half life. And once they're below 20% life, 50%. So they will even mess up your tanks. Hmm. Now, it's important to have Kaorin out because, like I said, these giants are powerhouses. And furthermore, we want to capture all of them. Or at least 15 of them. In order to level up my three Yuiki. Alright, that should do for this turn. And that son of a bitch is just going to keep sniping me until he runs out of spell points. I'd like to capture this guy, but he's not so important that it's worth actually going through much trouble for. Because it's important for Fia to be standing right behind Kavin to capture the giants once they get low on hit points. Hmm. You know what, no. Although it's a bit inconvenient to have Kavin parked on a trap. Shh. It's an improvement over other options I have right now. Hmm. I should have taken a closer look at how much damage she would be dealing. Ranrin is useful for chipping these guys down. And an unfortunate side effect of being parked on a trap is that Yuiki is going to lose a lot of life. Fortunately I have a ton of healing potions and even some large healing potions. Should he get low too often. Hmm. We might capture them, but they have pretty good dodge, so we might not. You bastard. Can you see me flipping you off right now? 
I hope you can see me flipping you off right now. Oh, not bad. And now we see the dirt. Fortunately, they're weak against Earth Elemental attacks. Oh, crap. Oh, we should finish that fat arm off. Fire Beast Blood. Hmm. My capture ropes are on the characters who are too high level. So 18 times 3. We should win this. Poison traps, though. Hmm. Knock, knock. Oh. Yeah, he's got the same defense skill that Fia has, so he doesn't take much magic damage. Oh good. I was worried that somebody might be sneaking up behind Fia. But she's safe. We're good. Well... I'm going to go through so many health potions. Enjoy it while you can, goblin. Because next turn Fia is messing you up. There's no point in fighting right now. Since his power is active, if I use this, I won't capture him. If I try and capture him, he'll, his defense is boosted by 50%, so I only deal one damage. May as well just save a bit of life. Hmm. Now, the Giants will occasionally drop skins, and also occasionally drop strong skins. Well, Giants strong skins. I have no idea what the difference between a strong skin and a weak skin is. Okay. Provided I don't get any critical hits, this will be fine. Perfect. And next turn, I can have Bavaro take the kill. He needs the experience. Now, oh, Ran Ran and her stinking, expensive spells. 15. Well, this won't kill it. Shouldn't kill it. Now, ah, see? At the last moment, it's determination kicked in. Hmm. Oh, it's a good thing that giant can't attack him because I forgot to heal him. Man, oh man.
Get better level ups, damn it. And because Fia is the most effective at capturing characters, she's probably going to be my highest level character for the foreseeable future. Hmm. Now, she could march up there and give a shot at fighting this guy face to face. I think I'll do that. If things get hairy, I can have her retreat because she's a Yuiki and I can just have her retreat anytime. Ah! What an idiot. I should have used one of the big healing potions. Yeah, even Yuki would do. Even Karin would able to be able to nearly kill the guy. Duh. He must have run out. Of yeah, he friggin' ran out of spell points. Stinking rat bastard. Hmm, okay. Well, one thing at a time, I guess. Oh. Hey, attack power, that's good. And a better attack skill. The goddess who fights for love. Oh, that's such a lame title. Anyway, she got an improvement on one of her skills. This is multi-attack. So occasionally it'll pop up and she'll get extra attacks. Nah. May as well heal you. Ooh. Now, I know there's not a trap there, but there must be an enemy. That's pretty clever, that. Yep, there was an enemy, alright. I can capture it. I would need a critical hit to capture it. But it's not much of a... Ha! Yo, bastard. Okay, if both my Yuki attack this guy with our ranged attacks... Oh, magic attack, good. Hmm, no. No. Karin is too strong for that. He would kill it and not capture it. So, next turn. Hopefully it doesn't attack Ranin. It moves forward into range of fear. Yeah, anyway. Now one of these bastards. Well, Yo can take it on. Eventually. Perfect. Oh, fuck. I'd say it's time for Ranin to get the hell out of there. Capture this. Yes, this will go down well. <laughs> giant skin. Like I said, Usually a giant's skin or a giant's strong skin. Hmm. Well. 
If all goes well, she's got four movement and she can seal that up next turn. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to take this guy down a peg, don't I? Still going good so far. Fia may be able to kill it now. Sweet. Alright. That will stop the flow of giants from there, at least. So I can concentrate on moving north with Karin and Fia. Now move forward or wait. Well, no point in waiting really. Right? Right. There are no words to describe how much I hate you guys. You and your stinking. Oh, ouch. Bonus attacks against... Bonus attack power versus Fia. But she has a, what, a 10% reduction, so... Maybe doing four per tick. Fia's gonna win. Oh, damn, he does it too. Ha. No, he doesn't have damage reduction and physical attacks, so this should do it. Ha! Suck it! Hey, a broken research book. Those are pretty rare. I think they give me ice shards. You know, Fia just got a goddess rank up. Was that before or after the level up? Maybe I'll re watch this video later. But she is already at her maximum luck. This sucks. Oh, anyway. Alright, finally some proper healing for him. And let's everybody get ready for a charge north. We're going to seal that other whirlpool up. Once this giant... Damn. This will probably be okay. But seriously, damn. 
行動開始だもらっておこうああ、right. so、ちょっと待って。And... Heal is not much use against giants. Due to their high physical attack and physical defense, Heal can do a pretty hefty amount of damage, but if she gets hit too many times, she dies. It's best to use magic attacks against these guys since their magic attacks. Uh, magic defense sucks. Okay, you're fine. You're a backup caster. So, next turn, the giant will march in and we murder the hell out of him. I love it when things go according to plan. Okay, on second that having Rufnin this close was a bad idea. A very bad idea. Since they can throw rocks at me, it's best to do my ranged attacks from at least three spaces away. Unless you happen to be Fia, in which case she has her Yui keep protecting her. And she's not much of a slacker in the physical defense department either. Okay, 19. Great. I love abusing the feathers like that. Okay, capture. Whom shall I rely on? Rudin, I hate you. I mean, you're good fodder. Man, just having Eel hanging around in case something needs to be d something assassiny needs to be done feels kind of lame. Let's see, next turn I'll march Karin right here, Fia up behind him. These giants won't move until you get close enough or you attack them first. So if I move Karin in range of that one, that one will attack and we can kill it. I don't know why I have Mikio out. Her attacks don't have enough range. Oh yeah, that thing. Yeah. She is not really useful. Or a giant can come in from the top. Well, hell, why not? Uh, Rudin, I've decided you're in the way. Cut and smash! Let's see, 19. Better not risk it. Actually, no, I will risk it. 
よし行動開始だもらっておこう That was my last mining point, and I also got all the gallery points already. This is going well. That's right. Vanga Arjun, Koko wa Wari no seiyatsu shita. Kodo o kaishi da. All right. We are ready to get this started. Yo. Mm. I want to keep you all around for a later portion of the level. Cheap shot. Thank you for doing your job, Rune. 19. Okay, we're good. Kodo kaishi da. I shouldn't have moved him there just yet. Oh well. Kodo Kaishida. Yeah, this could kill him, but I think he'll be okay. Ooh, that was close. Okay, capture. Probably once this last giant is dead, I'll have Eel and Avaro march over to that deploy point and capture it. Hey, wake up, sleepyhead! Would you like to march into a trap? Because I've totally got a perfect trap for you to march into. Hmm. Well, if he has got a spare turn. Healing. I'll guess who just fell for it.
All right, that pretty much wraps up the map. Except our objective is to kill the King Wolf Eater. Whatever that's supposed to mean. And I want to be prepared when I go into this room. So, let's see if we can get over to that deploy point next turn. And redeploy Karin and Fia to the Western Front. Hey, you know what, Ronin? Actually, you too, Karin. They're being able to retreat for healing anytime they feel like it is pretty convenient. I may make use of Rurin in this next room. Since Ranrin is so low on his spell points. Oh crap. Alright, we found it. And yeah. This is the big one. Hey, I just realized I haven't actually shown any of these on camera. Those fighting scenes. Alright, so this guy doesn't actually appear except during this proliferating season. Since this thing gives birth to the monsters, I guess, and that takes a lot of power, during the off-season it's almost always out hunting, so it can't be found here. But since it's the proliferating season. It's here and we can kill it. As expected of a former assassin, she's got a good head for killing stuff. Is that a giant or an elephant? Alright, so we've been noticed. And it's wary of us. Alright, it knows that it's been cornered in its nest. And in order to protect the children that it's already made and the children that it's going to make, it's going to fight. Sounds like a cross between a lion and an elephant. Alright. It's pretty impressive, but the one who wants to kill the, the other most is Eel. So, this is about her parents. Boy, sometimes she just won't shut up. So, we're talking about dog eat dog, things like that. Fighting for existence. Oh, I'm not gonna get it started on philosophy. I could go all day. Alright. Let's kill or be killed then. Yeah, it's pretty dark when you're... She's asking something to die so that... She and her village can live. Now... I avoided coming into this room... In order to keep these giants from... Rushing me. 
but apparently they just kept spawning so I'm gonna have my hands full for a few turns. Fortunately these three here won't move until you come in range so hopefully Karin and Theo will be able to handle it. Oh yeah and Rurin as well. He's got a good long-range attack that can hit them. Healing. Hey, more attack power. That's good. We may need it. Hmm. Yul and Navarro should head down south. Coming in this entrance to fix that up and grab that. Actually, I mean... I should have plenty of time to clear this room out. Oh man. Have you... Well, Rurin's form. Now, Rurin's attack power is not as high as Karin, as Ramin's. But he's a valuable asset when we're simply swamped with enemies. And a better fill up. How much is it? Eight? All right, he'll get three casts, and he'll be attacked three times, so that should handle that. Hmm. Surprisingly effective. You'll kind of wait here. I got a... Fatigue potion. Suck. Countering smash. Wait, what? Damn it. I wasn't expecting anything to be that low already. This is all your fault, Thea. Well, the good side of this is that Fia can attack two separate giants. And fortunately, most of them will just walk up to Karin. Okay, so these guys also have a protection power. So if you got two of them standing next to each other, they'll try and protect each other. So one protected, then the other protected, and then they were out of protection if you killed it anyway. Isn't that hilarious? Oh, right. Caught in smash. Stinking giants. Why does that activate so often? I thought it only activated like 20%. There it is, 20% of the time. And it's uh, happening like a hundred percent of the time to me. They're all a bunch of bastards, I swear. Uh, you're hardly worth the effort, but I'm still going to capture you.
19. No, that's too much power. This will do a little bit of damage. So once it's in range... Oh, you want to get captured? Fine. I have no objections. See? That's what it's like going up against me. Alright, this is safe. You stupid. Running out of fatigue, I swear. Oh, hey. Ranrin is probably ready to fight. Yep. Mm. 21. Three attacks. No. 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 Well, nothing she can attack right now, but we'll get to that later. Ah. Capture this thing, Fia. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody wait a turn. Easy capture. Hmm. I should have healed Karin. Oh, this could be dangerous. This could be bad. Oh. Hey guys, were you hoping to see me use a big healing potion? Because it's time for a big healing potion. <laughs> Yuki protection is the best protection available. Okay, everybody, just wait for it. No. No. Kodo Kaishita. Nineteen times three. Well, I don't like to take big risks. Alright, time to try and get in there and seal that whirlpool. But... Yes, next turn we're going to get in range of this guy. The turn after that I'll try and get to that guy. Oh... Hmm. 
Nah, that can wait. In my trial run, you can actually take two cheap shots on these guys before they rush you, but... Well, they can wait. Because next turn we're having this guy rush. Oh. It looks like... In order to smash, Karn needs spell points. Avaru is stuck for the moment. So just wait there with a stupid look on your face, okay? Okay, 16. No, I don't like risking it. Since Ranrin has a pretty good critical hit rate, she might end up killing it. And that's not how we do things. Oh. I keep forgetting I need to show that on screen. You don't know how badly I want to seal that, but I can't do it until I get the boss. Oh, wait. This was supposed to come out every five turns, and it didn't come one. And one did not come out this time, so... This is the mercy period at the Shh. So this is the grace period at the end of the level where... The monsters will stop coming, letting you finish off the remainder. Still... Time to do the finishing off. Still wait for it. But Fia, come here. Yuki... Need some healing. All is well. Boy, I've got this down to a science. Oh, jeez. That was close. I had to open my big mouth. Okay. Hey, stupid! You're ugly! And your mother dresses you funny. Alright. Great, it's gonna try and charge those two. You'll back up. Runner in, you'll go here. Yeah, straight to there. In this position, the giant will attack the closest enemy, which is Kanin, only two turns away. Bingo. Except it's still stupid and ugly. Ah. Oh. You're not going to believe this. I remembered. Mm -hmm. 
I've seen bigger giants. Hell, that demon we fought a couple chapters back was huge. Alright. Next turn, I'm going to lure the boss. The really unfortunate thing about this boss is it has high magic defense, unlike the rest of these giants. Alright, everybody in position. One good thing about this boss, however, is it lacks that determination skill. Meaning it is actually less dangerous than everything else. It's not as weak against Earth, however. But anyway. Yeah, try and kill my tank. I dare you. Alright, we're gonna need another turn in order to unlock that chest. But this guy's going to take some beating. Hmm. Unfortunately, it can dish it out too. Especially against my range characters. Alright, I'll open this chest. Good girl. Lightning shards. Ruin, you are going to get murdered if you try and engage it in range. So, that leaves Connery able to fight. Easy as that. You know, tired of looking at you. An indigo treasure stone. Precious jewel. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, no elemental abilities, so this is probably as good a weapon as any. You know, Fuse is the only one I have a bunch of weapons to choose from. Hey, lucky shot. With this eel is in range for next turn. Although I don't think it's going to survive that long. <laughs> well, as a take, he needs his physical defense too. Jupiter Stone. Boom. Let's see. Clear the stage, 100% control. Fix all the broken t statues. Collect all the gather points, the herb gathering, and defeat all enemies. <laughs> yeah, simple. Hmm, we do get a lot of stuff from here. All right, Fee, you can announce it. He was probably all lightheaded from all the talking she did before. So, she's proud of herself. All right. So, her parents are probably proud of her and all that good stuff. Yo 
心の頑張りをリオルがちゃんと引き継げたんだよ All right So We take turns congratulating you Well, so he was avenged her parents and cleared up that huge misunderstanding she had with her village. So we can head back to the village and look them in the face again. Thanks, everyone. Wait a minute. What are you tearing up for, Mikayu? It's funny. Mikayu seems happier than she is. Yeah, that's how she is. Yes. Yes, that's how it is. Mikayu-chan? So, she understands how Mikay is feeling. She is as happy as if this had been her past to have been clearing up. Kind of like a motherly feeling, yeah? All right, go ahead and cry on Fia's shoulder. Uh huh. Well, these two have their silly points as well. So the goddess seems like she's about to cry too. Yep, everyone's so happy they could cry, except for us two guys, I guess. Now Mikio is a bit queried about this because the goddess and Mikio aren't really connected to the village at all. Well, they're connected to the hill and hill is connected to the village, so that's good enough for them. Say, hill, do you know why Mikio was angry when you tried to run off here before? That's when we were in the middle of a conversation and she just started to jet. Because we're family. Hmm. Yeah, basically. Avaro would better put it, it's because the two of them are so close. Yeah. For example, what would you do if Mikio had to cry? Oh, how violent. So it's the same kind of thing. If Eel is sad, then Mikio will be sad. And in the same way, when Eel is happy, she's happy too. Hmm. I'm surprised Fia isn't taking advantage of Mikio right now. So, since Eel's happy, that means everybody's happy. One of those reciprocal things. So, you ask Savaro, and yeah, he's happy for you as well. Mikio 
So, Eel's not big on being expressive, but she's happy too. Isn't she the cutest? So, in the future, before running out by yourself, you better talk to everybody about it. So, on the one hand, we want her to be happy we're here, but she doesn't have to feel like she owes us. This is a mutual thing. And rather than trying to take things on by herself, consulting with others and being spoiled a bit by others is also all right. So, being spoiled is all right? Yeah, because she's the way she is, she really doesn't ask for things she wants. Because she feels like she's taking advantage of people, I guess. And letting herself be spoiled a little is not something she's let herself do. So, yeah, she can. So, we finished the extermination so we can report to the village. And it'll probably be a big hullabaloo. With a feast and everything. So, you wonders if Granny is going to be happy too. Sure she will. Everybody will. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to lose to them in the happiness department either. We're probably all going to get drunk too. And a feast. Hey, you will make it for us. Come on, you're the one who's, that we're celebrating. Where would you be cooking? As a cook, she needs to... It's her job to cook for people. Well, at least she considers herself a cook instead of an assassin. All right, let's head back. So, that'll wrap it up for today. I would head into the castle and dispose of all the giants I captured, but I know there's going to be another seam and I'm fresh out of time. So, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.